What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here. Like, I know y'all heard about the James Hope bullshit, whatever. I just want to know why is people obsessing with this man? Why do? Yeah, well, they must be. Well, sadistic. My homegirl sadistic is with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I just don't get. I'm talking about they're making blogs and fan pages. That's like I could understand celebrities, but when it comes to killers. Y'all act like, oh, they're fucking porn stars. Y'all beat, you beat your meat <laughs> off to them like you're, oh, oh, he kill, oh, oh, look him kill that little girl. <laughs> Y'all are sitting up there and sit, like, for real. There's somebody that's got a Tumblr page named James Holmes Fan Page. Now, I'm going to tell you how obsessive these people are. I'm going to show you how obsessive they look. They got the James Holmes background, and look at the key chains. Key but wait, there's more. There's more. See, see all the keychains of them. Oh, there's a shitload of stupid ass bitches on Tumblr and Twitter, mind you, obsessing with Twitter. Twitter. Now, I'm not gonna, like for me. I love Star Wars and all, but you ain't gonna see me always put up. Like one thing, I stick to one character, the Wookie. That's it. I don't put nobody else up. I don't put. Yoda and all like that. I'm not a, I'm not obsessed about Star Wars, but I just can't figure out why are people so obsessive over him. There was over, people was obsessive obsessive with uh, Charles Manson and all that shit. I was like, damn. He didn't even fucking kill nobody. He brainwashed a bunch. Yeah, he didn't kill. Yeah, <laughs> like didn't kill nobody, but. I mean, I'm not being a hypocrite. I, I am fascinated with serial killers, but not to the point where I want, that I think that I'm going to end up with them. Like, these girls are like, oh, I'm going to go visit James in prison. Oh, we're going to get married. Oh, we're yeah, going to have see. babies, blah, blah, blah. That can happen. So, Colorado, actually, in most states anymore, you uh, can't get married to a person in jail or prison. You can't fuck them. You get knocked up. That's like it's like the Bundy law or something. I'm not too uh, sure, but yeah. I, I kind of agree with sadistic over here because one thing is you gotta ask yourself if you no, because one thing is if I say if I ask this question, I know the answer to it like straight off the bat because people's gonna answer it's like fuck yeah. But the question is, like, why would you want to marry, like, why would any woman want to marry a serial killer? If you marry him, he's going to kill you, and they're going to say, well, I don't fucking care, I love the person. You're going to marry somebody that's going to kill you the same day you get married. Why get married to somebody that's going to kill you? Oh, we're going to have babies. How are you going to have babies when he's killing you? Uh, you see y'all that's dumbest shit I ever heard oh we gonna marry this guy I'm gonna marry this guy I'm gonna have it back I'm like motherfuckers please stop like one thing is stop obsessing over a man that killed someone killed a, he killed children a bunch, a bunch of people and he killed some kids y'all want a baby killer as your husband okay they, apparently they do yeah Baby killers, man. He killed a baby. He killed kids. Okay. All these people obsessing about him, about James Home and him killing kids. Okay. When you have kids with him, sit right in that room and watch him kill your baby. Because you don't want to, because you stupid enough to fall in love with a, with a motherfucker like him. Because I, I couldn't. It's, it's sad, you know. Like, it's pathetic. Why would you base your whole life? Why would you base your whole life on somebody that murdered kids? That you'll never ever fucking meet. Yeah. Or ever probably you know, never hear from either. You know this new, you know, James Holmes is never gonna get contact with anybody. He's never gonna ho he's never gonna touch any woman. He's never gonna get a letter from people. He can't even make a fucking phone call because he killed people. Uh, he can talk to his lawyers and his parents. But that's that's, it. That, that's it. He can't talk to nobody else but his lawyer and his parents. And like sadistic said. And y'all gonna say, for, "Oh, we wanna, we wanna, we wanna." Marry. How he gonna, how you gonna marry this man? And he, he can't touch you or talk no to. No point. I'm getting fucking shanked when you say I'm solitary confinement. Look at Robert, not Robert Downey Jr. Um, fuck, what's his name? Uh, 
Not Ted Bundy, but, uh, what the fuck is that dude's name? No, no, no. Like, I got one question. It's like, why would you obsess with the mannequin? Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm sorry. Jeffrey Dahmer. Ew. Like, yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer. He got, he got the, sh like, his head fucking smashed, and that's how he fucking died. Like, uh, like, for real, like, like, I'll tell you, I'm going to show you this guy. Uh, he's he he's wearing the same exact suit as uh, James Holmes did when he walked up in there. Like, for real. How you going to have this gun and dress in all black? I, like, for real, though. What's his name? What's Dub Dub me Holmes. Homie. Homie. That's just the little group he's called himself her. Holy. Fairy tales are all full of shit. Yeah, I guess so. Fairy tales are full of shit. It means your mama full of shit when she had you. <laughs> like for real, man. It's for, like I said before. Out of everybody, like, like I don't get it because I ain't never seen one person obsessed with George Zimmerman. But y'all can obsess with a white guy to kill kids in a theater at a Batman movie. Tell me where's the tell me where's the wrong thing in that. Oh, it's not about race. It was about something. Well, you got a, a Latino slash white dude killing a black kid in the suburb area, and you got a crazy white dude calling himself the Joker killing a bunch of people in a theater. I Means black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, and even kids. And y'all sit up here and like his shit don't stink. I'm not, I, I can't be obsessed with somebody to kill people. I'm sorry. Every time I hear a story about somebody killing somebody, I'm not going to be obsessed with them. Now, look at this one. The blog for the homies. For real, is your life that fucking pathetic where you got to make a damn Tumblr page about somebody getting killed or some killer? Y'all ain't like that's the only thing in life is to... It's the following. They can't get a man. That's why they do it. Like, they can't get a like, man. I agree with you on that one. If you're a woman and you're obsessing with James Holmes. That, or anybody else that's a killer. Yeah, anybody that's not, like Fred. Never, like Fred, I never, like this is why I never understood women who marry men on death row. Like y'all can't fuck. They like over, like, like they're 40 years old. They're not spring chickens. They hate, can't have kids, but you marry somebody on death row. Like it's like, like that prison wife show. <laughs> yeah, it's like me marrying a dead body and getting away with it. Maybe. But that's nasty. But like I just don't get it. Obsessing about one dude killing a bunch of people in the theater watching a Batman movie. Trying to anyway. <laughs> yeah, trying to and and he killed kids. How can you love that? How can Apparently you? they don't care because they always make fun of people that say he killed a six-year-old. They like always make fun of them. Like, so who cares? Like, for real. And y'all want to have kids with this dude? Like, uh, there's kind of something else when you sit there and say, oh, I think it's funny that James Hunt killed kids. But you want to have... These are little, like, 17 to 22, 23-year-olds. Yeah. They're fucking retarded. They need their fucking computers, internet boxes. Smash and banned from the internet until they fucking die. Yeah, cause to me, like I said, I I just don't get people people obsessing about killers and all like that because they think it's great. You can sit well, up. there's still girls obsessed over the Columbine boys. Yeah, they, like the Columbine kids. Well, with the trench coat mafia as they call themselves. Yeah. Mhm. Mm like why why would you? Dedicate your life. Well, right. Well, they dead now, so that's pretty much. Oh, there's tumblers about them too. Like, them. like for real, man. Like, why would you dedicate a whole tumbler to two kids that went up into a school, shot everybody else, and committed suicide? Like, you can, like, it, it, like I think it'll be dumb as hell if some girl said, "Oh, I want to have their babies, bitch. They're dead." Yeah. Like it'd be kind of hard to get a get a heart up from them because they're nothing but bones now. Yeah. Like a cream at it. Yeah, there you go. It's like, like why would you ever like for real? Why would you obsess about a killer? Which, I don't know. Like, like they gonna sit up and say, "Well, you see, you Star Wars." It's like 
Yeah, I love Star Wars, but I ain't gonna walk out in the fucking Han Solo suit. That would be hilarious. It, it, it will be hilarious. I'm not gonna say. Like I told you, I'm sorry to interrupt, but like, it's like I told you, I would rather be obsessed with something positive than negative. You know, Star Wars, there was a little bit of violence in it, but not enough to affect any children growing up. So I'd rather be at with Star Wars than someone that is a heartless bastard that went 15 minutes of fame and killed people for no fucking reason, just for the shits and giggles of it. Yeah, because... Uh, because, one th like I said before, because... When you're obsessed with people like it, it tells me you're... You got mental problems. No, I wouldn't say that. That means your life is fucked up. That means that your life is so fucked Like, I, for real, man, I even see rich kids like this. Mm -hmm. i seen rich kids like, rich kids, oh, my mama never cared. Like, dude, how you... Like, one thing before we go any further, if you're a rich kid and you're obsessing with James Home, motherfucker, you need your ass with Because one thing is, you <laughs> got... You got money, but you're obsessing with a killer now. You got money, but you're obsessing with a killer. Come on now, you don't be so obsessing about them damn, some damn killer. Oh, there's this one girl. Um, she's got. She like thinks that she's gonna like, marry him, and she's gonna after I guess the um, trial service is gonna fly out and see him, and I'm thinking. Stupid. Yeah, like I said before, he won't, like, y'all can sit up there and say, I'm going to visit this dude, I'm going to have his baby, I'm going to marry him. He is cut off to the outside world. Only people he can see is his parents, his mommy and daddy, and his lawyer. That is it. Anybody else, they don't get They're even writing letters to him, and their letters are being rejected. They're being sent back to him. Yes, he cannot get, he, he cannot get phone call. Well, you can't call a damn person. Can I speak to James? Oh, no. He can't even get, he can't get mail. Nope. He can't get mail, motherfucker. So stop trying to send him letters. Oh, I love him. I'm writing him a letter. They're going to send him back. Because he's a convicted felon. He's a, conv he's a convicted murderer. Mm-hmm. And what if the wrong person got a hold of the letter and, people or teenagers like they, these girls are stupid enough to put their actual physical home address yeah. and get out of fucking prison and hunt them down and fucking kill them yeah like you never like for real though I did a video about a guy a few years ago about how can you how can anybody be friends with the fucking pedophile it's the same thing as this how can you love a man that kills kills people and kids now you can sit there and say you love them, but when he when you go up there and trying to marry him, he's gonna kill you before you even get knocked up by him. So you a dead corpse and you cannot have this man's baby because he just killed you. You can make all the damn Tumblr fan pages, all the Twitter fan pages, all the Facebook fan pages you want. The fact of the matter is, he's never going to get out of prison. He's never going to get a piece of mail, piece of mail from you. He's not going to get a phone call from you. He can't get no visitors except his parents and a lawyer. That's it. So get that shit through your motherfucking head and re and realize, people like him don't get to have a chance to see. People like him don't get free. You can sit there and say, you know, you know what the law is for busting out a fucking killer. Shit, it's almost it's almost the same thing as it's almost the same years that you as the damn killer. You think like let, let a woman break him out of prison and see how many damn life sentences she gonna get. I mean, they ain't gonna put you in the same prison hole because you know they gonna put you in a women prison. Don't be stupid. Oh, I love him. I love him. You love a murder. You love dead bodies. I would love to see, I know what, man, if I see a woman that's got kids with a Tumblr page saying she loves James Holmes, and one day, she, like, I say one day, they allow him to have one, like a visitor, I have a visitor, so she goes, she goes up to the prison, and he goes up, she, she goes up to the prison with James, 
and her two kids to sing James songs. Your kids dead, you dead. And I, I'm gonna laugh at look, cause one thing is you stupid. If you stupid enough to go up there to a murder and say I love you, I wanna fuck you, and you get killed. Hey man, I'ma laugh on you, piss on your grave, and shit in your coffin. <laughs> Cause I don't see why in the world would anybody want to love on a fucking killer. It, I I just can't wrap my mind around this shit. These people can sit up there and criticize me, say you love Star Wars as much. That's a movie. That is a motherfucking movie. That's different from. That's different from a, a reality. reality. That's fictional. This is reality. I love the Mario Brothers, but I know that's fiction because it's just a he's just a fucking game character. James Holmes is just a murderer. So you want your life to be turned on its side just because you love somebody that like to kill people? How can you love somebody like that? How can you live with yourself like that? They don't care, like, that's yeah, I bet you. I bet y'all get one motherfucker gets like, you need to shut the fuck up. Well, you need to grow the fuck up. Because life is too damn short to be obsessing about a fucking killer. And it's true. Mm -hmm. Your lifespan is so short. You got a short life. <laughs> You don't know when you're gonna fucking go. You don't know. Fuck yeah. out in the streets, or get fucking hit by a Mack truck, and be dead. Yeah. So don't sit there and think that you're gonna be with somebody that you can't. Mm. And I will. Let me say this. I will admit, and you know, I'm really not. I'm not in, uh, embarrassed by it or ashamed. I'm kind of like just like I'm a retard about it, but like. A few days after that whole incident happened in July, and you know, I saw him, a picture of him finally. I was like, wow, he's cute. But I didn't go any further than that. I was like, it's a damn shame he's a piece of shit asshole, because he's a good looking guy. And I did post a picture of his orange hair because I thought it was funny and I like to offend people as well. But these girls are just like, Oh my god, why can't you just like drool over Justin Bieber or fucking. That's because, just, that's because Justin Bieber's a faggot, him and Usher well, in the closet. Oh, I'm, why can't y'all obsess over like. I don't know, um. Shit, man. Obsessive. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is single now. Drool over him. He yeah. may be on a to your daddy, but who fucking cares? And for the fellas, man, stop drooling over a fucking killer's dick. Stop drooling. Drool over... I, I have not yet seen a gay man drool over... No, no, home. no, no. When you see a guy with a Tumblr page, and he's got nothing but fucking pictures of James Home, and when I showed it, the guy with the black suit on, he can say he's straight as can be. And you're obsessed with... Oh, I saw it? Yeah, I saw it. I showed it. And you oh, could, I don't see your cam on here. Yeah, but uh, if you, if not for real, but if you're a straight guy and you got pictures of killers on your page, I think you want to get fucked by a killer because there's no way in hell I'm going to put a killer on my Tumblr page, on my Twitter page. Because they're not worthy to be on my page. Because when you take a life from a human being, you're scum of the earth. You just the sh you just a piece of shit at the bottom of my shoe. But when you are obsessed with people like it, that means you are the bubble gum on the bottom of my shoe. You ain't worth shit. Yep. So when you obsessed with somebody like that, that means your life is pathetic and you are useless. I don't give a fuck if you got money or not, but when you're obsessed with somebody that killed a lot of people, even kids, and you laugh at that, you are... Yeah, you should have been on the fucking movie theater there. Yeah, funny. look, man, no, they should have been on the Titanic. I wanted to see them drown. Like, oh, man, if I had to, oh, I wish Time Machines was real. Yeah, 
I wish that was a time machine for real. And I go to every one of them motherfuckers' house. I'm gonna take them out back in where the Titanic was there, drop them off on the boat before they even hit hit the iceberg, let you drown. Because y'all are oh, useless. Yeah. You it's like out of the millions of sperm in the in your dad's bottles, you was the one that got through and be an obsessor with dead folk. Uh, be obsessed with killers. Oh, there's also a page called um Homie Homie Problems. Yeah, well, like, for real, now, now, this is stupid. Now, I just thought of this. Now, this guy's last name is Holmes. Mm-hmm. Now, Katie's home is, last name is Holmes. Spelled the same way. When you say homies and you spell it, M, uh, what is it, H-O-L-M-I-E-S, how do we know you talking about James Holmes or Katie Holmes? That is the question. I wouldn't sit there and put down something like that. You got to be specific on who you're talking about. You got to be very specific because last that Holmes is a common last name. You can say, you can say, because one thing is, when you got a page like it, I don't know if you're talking about Katie Holmes or James Holmes. You got to think about it. Before you make a page like that, because I might be thinking, think you talking about Katie Holmes. Oh, they're not. It's much the same pictures they post of him and shit. It's pretty clear here. No, 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 well, no. But you get what I'm saying, though. Never put make something like that because there's another person with the same last name. Or the same name, first and last name. Yeah, same first and last name. Like. Like Snoopy, Snoopy the dog. Now, well, mm-hmm. that's a that's a bad one, cause Snoop Dogg. Yeah. You could put dog, D O G G. Which dog you talking about? Snoop Dogg, Nay Dog. You could say Little John. You can be your family member or somebody else, or the rapper Little John. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be specific on who you talking about. So next, so for all them little people that sit up there, they got that little homies page. Uh, you might be talking about Katie Holmes. That's how, that's probably what it is. So obsessive, these people obsessive with Katie Holmes. They want her booty hoe. It just like. Here's booty hoe. Uh, Katie Holmes. It's just like oh. that. It's just like that girl from uh, Halloween back in the eighties when she was in the Halloween movies. Uh, yeah. This girl was in the Halloween movie. I forgot her name, but she was in the Halloween movies, and she saw her family get killed, and her uncle was Michael Myers, and she was wearing it to like a. Like, if you look at it, she was wearing, like, a ballerina and the shit. That girl was stalked ever since she was in them Halloween movies. Even today, she's still stalked. When you, I would not uh, take it as far to obsess with somebody like like James Holmes. You got to remember, like, you can, like I said before, you can sit there and say, oh, you're obsessed with Star Wars. Hey, Afro Joe the Wookiee is my nickname. It's just a character's name. It doesn't mean uh-huh. it's my real name. So I wasn't obsessed with somebody that killed kids, babies, and other people. Because that right there tells me your mind is much twisted than the average person. Your mind is much twisted than he is. Uh-huh. You can sit there and try to go see him, but they're going to turn you away. You can sit there and try to <laughs> break him out, but they're going to shoot you where you stand. They going you can sit there and try to write a letter. They are gonna send it back. So no matter how you look at it, you obsessing over a killer that killed kids and peep and, and adults, babies, kids and adults. Do you want to live with that? That you, like, there's actually kids that have parents that kill people, and they are so ashamed and embarrassed that their parents killed people. 
and that's fucked up. So, so you got a thing to say, sadistic? No, I don't wish another person these worthless twice. Yeah, I call him. I'm gonna call y'all James Holmes digging the booty ass people. Cracker. Well, this has been Afro Joe the Wooker. Follow me on sadistic. Sadistic. Find me on Twitter at uh, Afro Joe the Wookie. Check me out on Tumblr, Afro Dad. No, hold on. It's Afro Joe Dash the Dash. Hold on. Is that what it is? Damn. I'll post my Tumblr link down in the box, description box. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior 2, Silo Junior 3. Why don't you throw your Tumblr page out there? I uh, know. I have a stalker, remember? Oh, yeah, she got a stock. I forgot about that. James Holmes trying to get in that booty, so. <laughs> like, I, like I always say, man, peace, love, and Afro grease. Bye, y'all. You want to say bye, Mary? I mean, peace. To the Middle East.